So I just bought this. I didn't buy it. I was given. Sorry. Ugh. You put one of these together and your brain just kind of turns into jelly. But I got this. And this is what it shows you. Uh, oh, you know, I didn't even notice. There's a little bird here eating like a cracker or something. But when you put this together, it has you put the little bird up here. Sorry, I'm testing out my new uh, mount. I have a tripod now. So, this is what I just completed, and we don't have enough light on that. I really don't think we have enough light on this still. So, we're going to take this out of the mount and give you a tour. So we've got the little bird up here. As you can see, he can turn. So it's a tree house. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. I use bench pieces and I don't know what it is, but it's a tree house. And you're like, okay, how do you get up? The railing becomes the ladder. How cool is that? There's a little bucket. There's a cat. There's a flag. And I didn't know what this was. I thought it was like hair or something. But if we can focus, it's a frog. It's a little frog on a lily pad. Now, the greenery, for some reason, can sway with the breeze, make it more realistic if you like. And this was ingenious. I've had Lego before, but never like a full on kit. It's my first like proper kit. And this is possible because there are pieces that have bits on the side. So like, instead of this being a bar, it would be two little nubby bits like they have on top. And when you place it this way, and it's got the two nubby bits on this side, you can put things vertically. So actually, I can show you by peeling off, if I can do this one-handed. So it's got those. I'm sure you've seen them, you just don't know what they were for. Well, neither did I, but those are there so that you can put cross bits. Sorry, I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Sorry, my, my tree branch was off center and it was driving me nuts. Oh, it can also go like diagonally a bit. Diagonally. So that is the little tree house that I built. And I thought, I was, I was thinking about, honestly, I was thinking about building this kit on the channel, but first of all, it took me about an hour. And second of all, why are we upside down? Sorry. Again, I'm trying out my new rig. Second of all, I do have something that I can show you. I've already put the heads on and I can't really get them off. I did try. Uh, and I'm just glad that I put the girl head on the girl body and the boy head on the boy body. Not that it really matters. But I'm a little picky about these things. Ugh, cat hair. If you've ever wondered, these don't come as one piece. These come in multiple pieces. So like the heads were Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's how they come. 
and then you get to put the head on yourself. Now, I guess some of them do come pre-done, but they're interchangeable. So if you don't like the pants that your little Lego person is wearing and they came with a kit, or if you don't like the hair that came with your little Lego dude, you could also put the hat on him without the hair and then he would just be bald. So you have options. These things are customizable. Heck, you could put the hat on the girl if you really wanted to. Doesn't have to be a girl. But I have a thing for long hair. There you go. That is how little Lego people come into being. They don't just come in the kits pre-done. My little Lego people. I can't really see what I'm filming, which is why I'm getting really close to the camera. Now also, they do have things that they can hold, if you so desire. There was a flashlight I didn't feel like putting together, but they give you this little mat. And, like with everything Lego, they can hold it. Yay, my little explorers. I had a lot of fun putting this together. If you would like, I can put together a kit on the channel. It's just, it takes a while and it's a bit mentally draining. I had to stop and go do other things, like eat because I just, yeah, it's exhausting. But this is testing out my new tripod. I have it anchored to the monitor right now. I can try to find other things to anchor it on if this didn't really do the trick. And I can also angle it up a bit so you can see the treehouse better. And I could even take my little bird and put it down here. But I kind of like having a bird in like the crow's nest because I think that's kind of funny. Anyway, this was, oh, by the way, if you didn't know, well, these don't have it, but my other little guy does. Woo, there went his helmet. Have you ever wondered why some of them have that? So they can sit on things. And yeah, this dude is weird. He's got like a Hawaiian shirt, but a motorcycle helmet. I don't know what's going on with this guy. And I have him at the moment sitting on, well, I'm going to take this out of the mouth to show you that. I have this thing, and I and we got it at Menards. Ooh, I don't know if this is going to show up really well, but we got it at Menards, and it's it's a little like three drawer thing that has Lego on top, so that you can build things. So if I wanted, I could remove. Well, maybe not that, but if I wanted, I could remove this janky little tree that I made which is covered in fur right now. And in its place, I could put my lovely bomb. Okay, Farmer Jim's gonna have to move. We're gonna move Farmer Jim. My lovely bomb tree house. Let's put it this way. And I could anchor that onto this lovely Oh, that's not Farmer Jim, that's the mechanic. Whoops. Well, crap. <laughs> we'll move the tractor and everything. So that is my current setup. I don't know how much of this is gonna be usable. Um, so we, I might have to do budgeting for the video this week. We'll see how that goes.